but there was nothing called Confirmation until we get well into the Middle Ages. And its roots seem to be in that second anointing after baptism. And I say after baptism, I really mean after the water part of the baptismal rite. And that second anointing after the water happened at first only in Rome and was always administered by the bishop. That's the origin of confirmation. Outside of Rome, as we get into the Middle Ages and increasingly bishops are not available every place to administer baptism, both in the Eastern and in the Western churches, presbyters simply administered the whole rite of baptism, including one anointing after baptism, because that's all they knew was one anointing after baptism, using oil that would have been blessed by a bishop. So only in Rome did they even know about the second anointing. And then in the 8th century, um, Charlemagne, seeking uniformity in the West, imposes the rights of Rome on the rest of Western <coughs> Christianity. And now there is this second anointing, which, given the small size of the diocese in central Italy, really still basically function to keep, if not the right together entirely, certainly pretty close in time. Now we get into Western Europe where dioceses are much larger, travel is difficult out in the countryside, um, and so this second anointing starts happening later and later.